Why do I think one of the reasons this is so hard on a marriage? It's because you go from being hopefully an equal or a partner to a dependent. Um, I think that causes our partners to view us differently. Um, I know it has mine. Um, I lost everything. I, I'm, I didn't even have a bank account or a driver's license, no income, nothing. I still have no income. I don't have access to money or any of that. I became like a child in this house. I became a dependent. All the decision-making became my partners for years. Every single decision that gets made in this house is finalized by my partner. It's all him. He supplies me with a lot. I have a car, you know, I can go places. I, I can do things on my own when I can. And I am so grateful for that. He's kept a roof over my head and, and food in the house and medicine here for me. And uh, I, I am, I, I'm very fortunate I think part of the struggle here is just the battle that they there's no belief in what we have you know like there's no one backing us up we go out and oh you know like when I had cancer when I told people I had cancer they knew oh you know the empathy was there immediately there was an understanding we're seen as crazy people, um, freaks, really, weirdos. Um, I, I've been called everything you can imagine by people who used to love me, uh, the things that have been said about me. Um, right now, my partner's hanging with people that I, I'm not welcome there, you know, and I did nothing to them. The last time I saw them, we were at a Christmas party, and but somehow I have become the freak enemy out there to just about everyone I used to know. Um, and I am dependent, you know, I need help. I need help to get the disability. I, I, I have really i'm proud of myself for all i have gone through the struggles you know like my doctor's destroying my records and i've called so many lawyers and i've dealt with the dea you name it i i've done what i could do but someone with out this injury could have gotten so much more done you know um i don't know how else to say it there are some days I can do things, and there are other days where I can't, and, and um, I'm not even being recognized truly as being injured. I'm expected to walk faster, and, you know, like there's no patience for me with this injury very much at all, honestly. Um, there's been, like, little understanding of truly what I'm going through. Like, I'm the one that's had to make most of the adjustments. I've had to learn how to survive. No matter what. I want
want to go play. I want to, I wanted to go to the beach and look at how that turned out. You know, um, I don't know. I can't do anything for very long, but I would love to do something other than be in this house. But, um, gotta wait till I heal some more. I could paint. I can watch TV. I could clean. I, I could cook. I can do all that. I can play with my dogs. I can listen to music. I can dance a little bit. I can do my balance exercises and talk to my dogs and videotape and take my baths and feed myself and brush my teeth and dry my hair and clean my glasses and couldn't do all that a year ago. So see, I'm trying to stay grateful, but I'm also trying not to go crazy over here. <laughs> my dogs don't talk back very well. And I guess I'm no fun to hang out with. I, I must be a drag or it must be a hassle. I don't understand it, but you know, um, I can't get anyone to play. I have a, f a friend over here that offered to go for a walk with me one day. I'm gonna do that. I would like to do something new, you know? I don't know. Said asking too much. I would even like to go to one of these little local zoos. Something. But I, I don't want to go alone anymore. I'm tired of being alone. I guess that's my... Um, I have to learn how to be alone and enjoy it. Because that's what it's looking like it's going to be. It's a hard pill to swallow. Yeah, they're bouncing. But I'm doing better. I feel like taking out an ad. But I don't even have the money to hire a friend. So I will just sit here and... Uh, Hope maybe I can make my brownies later. Uh, love you.